Um, <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I had class there, so I got interrupted again. Okay, so find the total area of the n rectangles in Tn, where n is an element of natural numbers, and give your answer in square units in terms of n. It is it its simplest form. Okay. Okay, there must be some kind of pattern. Mm. Right, so what were we doing? It's just length by width. So the height and what is it, the base? Okay, so T1 has a height of, was it 8? And T1 has a base of 2. So the area of T1 is 8 by 2. Okay. T2. We split the area into 2. And then for the little triangle, it was... Half, wasn't it? So the base of the big triangle is two, and the base of the little triangle was half that. Oh no, that's the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, the base of the little triangle was half of two, and the base of the big triangle was two. Yeah, I think that's right. So if I take the two out as a common factor, I get a half plus one. And if I multiply them to get the area of T2, so I'm doing 8 over 2, which is 4, and I'm going to multiply that by the base. So I'm going to do the frac or sorry, the bracket first, multiply by 2, and then multiply by 4. So I'm getting 12. Which I think, oh sorry, is what I got up above. Uh, right, T3. So T3 for the height, we divide it by 3. And for the base, so the littlest triangle is a third of 2. So the littlest triangle is a third of the base of the big triangle. The middle one is 2 thirds of the base of the big one. And then 3 thirds, if that makes, as in like just... Yeah, and then if we do the same thing, so if we multiply this by this, yeah, to get the area this should be what we did in the previous question, I think. Three times over three equals plus eight over three times yeah 32 over three that's what we got the last time uh we may as well do t4 just to see if the pattern i feel like there is a pattern so that's going to be eight over four and then t4 the littlest one is going to be a quarter of two then two quarters of two, then three quarters of two, and then four quarters of two. Yeah, and then we get the area of T4 by multiplying the base by the height. Uh, okay, so eight over four is just two. So two by that which is sorry <laughs> I'm pointing at my screen two by that then plus this is where I'm getting the two from two by the second one plus two no two by the third one what's that three twos are six over four 
plus 2 by 2 fours are 8 over 4. So that's giving me 10. Right. So based on all of that, I need to do a TN. Okay, so when it was 1, essentially what we did was 8 over 1 because we got 8. When it was 2, we did 8 over 2. When it was 3, we did 8 over 3. So when it's N, we need to do 8 over N for the height. Okay, then the base. So when it was two, we did a half of two. Okay, maybe these are harder, sorry. So when it was three, we did a third, two thirds, and three thirds of two. When it was four, we did a quarter. Okay, so when it's N, We need to do 1 over n times 2 plus 2 over n times 2 plus 3 over n times 2. And we need to keep going until it's n over n times 2. Yeah? Okay, so there's definitely a pattern over here. How do I take it out? Mm. Um, if I tidy it up, so just all of these are over one, so I can do top by top, bottom by bottom. So two over N plus four over N plus 6 over n, and that goes up to 2n over n. If I take this n, can I do that? If I take that n out, it leaves me with 2 plus 4 plus 6 up to 2n. And this Here is an arithmetic series. So Tn is a plus n minus 1 times d. So a is 2, n minus 1, d is 2. So that is 2. Two plus two and minus two. That's just two n. So that means the base is one over n by two n. Top by top, bottom by bottom gives me 2n over n. Oh, my eyes are oversimplifying. Mm. So, sorry. This simplified. Oh, sorry. I know exactly what I did. Okay, bear with me. It is an arithmetic series, sort of. Actually, did I get it right? Yeah, so it's an arithmetic series because it's being added. So it wasn't TN I was supposed to do, it was SN I was supposed to do. As in the sum. That's annoying. 
So n over 2, 2 times 2 plus n minus 1 times 2. Uh, n over 2 times 4 plus 2n minus 2. So n over 2 times 2n plus 2. And then we can simplify that to get 2n squared over 2 plus 2n over 2. And they cancel. So Sn is n squared plus n. Okay, so when you add all them up, you get this. So the base is 1 over n times this. 1 over n times n squared plus n. Again, if I multiply that in, I get n squared over n plus n over n, which is n plus 1 for the base. Okay, and then I need to do what I did with all the others. Sorry, I don't know why my writing's gone so huge all of a sudden. But I need to do what I did with all the others, which is to get the area, I multiply the height by the base. So to get the area of Tn, we multiply the height by the base. So the height was 8 over n. And the base is n plus 1. So 8 over n times n is 8n over n, and 8 over n times 1 is just 8 over n. I can take out 8 over n as a common factor, and that leaves me with n plus 1. That was tricky. Right, so that's that one. I think, so I'm trying to think, is that in its simplest form when it's factorized or when it's multiplied out? I don't know, I'm going to multiply it out just in case. Uh, so that by that would give me back 8n over n plus 8 over n and these cancel. So 8 plus 8 over n. Yeah, that just looks like it needs to be factorized. Anyway, I think that's the answer. I must double check. Uh, okay, so the total area of the rectangles in the nth term of a different sequence of groups, sorry, the total area of the rectangles in the nth term of a different sequence of groups of rectangles is as follows. Work out the first value of n for which a n is greater than 95% of the area of the triangle on the right. Okay, so the area of that triangle, 95% of the area of the triangle, so the area of that triangle is half a by h, which is a half two by eight, which is eight units squared. 95% of eight units mm. of eight units squared is seven point six. So work out the first value of n 
for which an, which is this yoke up here, is greater than, okay, so do we do 8 times n minus 1 over n is greater than 7.6 and just solve? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to multiply across by n. Now you always have to be wary when you're multiplying across by a ver sorry when you're multiplying across an inequality by a variable that that variable can't be negative. But if you look here, it says that n is a natural number and a natural number is positive. So we should be able to do that multiplication without any worries. So eight times n minus one greater than seven point six n. Uh, Okay, so if I expand the bracket on the left there, I get 8n minus 8 greater than 7.6n. Um, gather the n's together, so if I minus 7.6n and minus 7.6n, and then if I plus, oh, if I plus 8 and plus 8, I get... 0 0.4 n is greater than 8 and then I divide by 0 0.4 to cancel and then to balance so I'm getting 20 so work out the first value for n for which so with these ones I always just like to check so if n is 20, I'm just going to throw that in quickly. So 8 times 20 minus 1, divided by 20, that is 7.6, which is 95%, so it's the next one. So what does 21 give me? Yeah, 21, if I sub in 21, I get 7.619. Yeah, so work out the first value of n for which the area is greater than 95%. So if n is 20, the area is 95%. So I think we have to say that n is 21. That is the smallest value of n for where the area will be greater than 95%. Sorry, I don't know if I have this open. Oh, sorry, that's that one. What did we say? Yeah. 8 over n times m plus 1. Yeah, okay, that was that one. Yay. Um, oh, and there they have it without the brackets. So apparently either was acceptable. High pressure credit find area, small turn, yeah, yeah, so they were allowing it either way. N equals 21. Cool. Okay. Um, now, this one I did already, so I'll just talk through it. Uh, so, P, P plus 7, P plus 14, P plus 21 is an arithmetic sequence. So, arithmetic tells us that. Um, T2 minus T1 equals T3 minus T2. That's arithmetic. Um, so the formula then in your formula and tables book for arithmetic, we have for Tn, we have A plus N minus 1 times D. And for Sn, we have N over 2, 2A two plus N minus 1 times D. Okay, so there are your two formula that we'll potentially be using. Well, it's Tn, so we'll be using the first one. So A is P, because A is the first term, and the first term is P. Uh, to get the common difference, we do T2 minus T1. So T2 is P plus 7 minus T1, which is P. Those P's cancel. So that leaves me with D, the common difference is 7. I put that into my Tn, so this is A plus n minus 1 times d. 
Uh, so a is p, n minus 1 times d, and that gives me p plus 7n minus 7. So it says it's going to be in terms of n and p, which means n and p will be in my answer, and they are. Okay, so find the smallest value of p for which 2021 is a term in the sequence. Okay, so that means 2021 has to be the smallest value of p for which it is a term. So if it is a term in the sequence, it means it's there exactly. So like, whatever, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10 is a term in the sequence. Yeah? So I have, I think it, I have 2021 has to be equal to p plus 7n minus 7. I brought that uh, plus 7. I got plus 7 to cancel the minus 7 and then plus 7 over here, which is where the 2028 came from. I then took the p across, so minus p minus p, and that's where that came from. Okay, and then I needed, so I have the smallest value of p. Why is it, sorry, very messy. Okay, so I'm looking for the smallest value of p. that will make n a whole number. Okay, so I did, I think, 2028 divided by seven. So I'm getting, when I do that, I'm getting 289 points and it goes on. Yeah, so 7 goes in 289 times. So if I do 289 multiplied by 7, I get 2023. Right, so what value must P be, see over here, to make that top line 2023. Is that, yeah, 5. So if P is 5, then this becomes 2028 minus 5 over 7, which is 2023 over 7, and that gives you 289 for N, which is a whole number. So if P is any smaller than that, it's not going to give you a number that's divisible by seven to give you a whole number. Do you know what I mean? Like if it was, if it was four, if P was four, it'd be 2028 minus four divided by seven isn't a whole number. Yeah. So I think P is five. Uh, so I'll have a look and see. I don't know, is this also on study clicks? Mm. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, so P plus 7N minus 7 was the first one, and the second one is P equal to 5. Yeah, sorry, I thought they might have some fancy way to do it, but no, they literally just did what I did. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully that helps.